Hello, this is John from WHMCS. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to further secure your WHMCS installation by applying further security steps. WHMCS has a number of security features built in, but we recommend the following steps as well to make writable directories and executable files inaccessible to the public. There are four sections to this video. Securing the writable directories, securing the configuration.php file, moving the crons directory and changing the admin folder name. In order for WHMCS to operate, there are three directories which need to be writable. Security can be enhanced by moving these above the web route so they are not publicly accessible from the internet. In this example, I'm using cPanel, so open file manager and locate the attachments, downloads and templates cache directories. Drag and drop them into the home directory above public HTML. Now we need to tell WHMCS where we move these directories. So edit the configuration.php file and add a new line for each directory like this, one per line. The configuration.php file contains your encryption hash and database connection details. So we definitely want to set the most restrictive permissions possible. On most systems, this would be a chmod value of 400 or 444. Just remember, if you need to change your license key in future, you'll have to make this file writable again temporarily. The crons directory contains several files which are executed to perform many of the automation tasks of WHMCS. Like the writable directories, we can move it above the web route so it's not publicly accessible from the internet. In the same way as before, using File Manager, drag and drop the crons directory into the home directory above public HTML. Now we need to tell the files where to find the WHMCS installation. So enter the crons directory and rename the config.php.new file to config.php. Then edit the file. Uncomment the WHMCS path line by removing the two forward slashes. Now enter the path to your WHMCS installation. This is the directory which contains the init.php file. Next we need to tell WHMCS where we move this directory. So edit the configuration.php file and add a new line, like this. Finally, we need to update the cron job with the new file path. So in your WHMCS admin area, navigate to Setup, Automation Settings and copy the cron job command. In your server's cron job interface, edit the cron job for the cron.php file and replace it with the new command. The last security measure we recommend is renaming the admin directory. This will make it harder for potential malicious users to find your WHMCS administration area. In this example, I'm using the cPanel file manager to rename the admin directory. You can use any alphanumeric combination, including dashes and underscores, but not blank spaces or accented characters. Now we need to tell WHMCS what we rename the directory to. So edit the configuration.php file and add a new line, like this, with just the directory name. That is all the security measures applied. Finally, let's check the Help, Health and Updates page to confirm the paths are valid and there are no red failure notices. Everything looks good from here. If you see any failures on your installation, read the messages for the suggested fix. Thanks for watching.